You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rams for Black and White Live. Well, we made sure to stay on top of this Henry Ruggs thing, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to try to follow it all the way through trial. And attorneys for Henry Ruggs the third are now trying to block medical records from the prosecution. Why? Because it could lead to some harsher charges being levied against Henry Ruggs III, of course, the former Raiders wide receiver, who slammed into back of Tina Tentor's RAV4 last week, killing her and her dog Max. Tragically, he was doing 156 miles an hour and was doing 127 miles an hour when the air bags did deploy. Complete and utter lack of concern for human life. Um, I'm sorry, but when you get behind the wheel and drive drunk like that and then choose to do that kind of speed, which, by the way, um, I guess he had a history of doing because there used to be videos on YouTube of him flying down residential areas in that same Corvette. Um, yeah, I'm going to call the behavior, in my opinion, malicious, uh, especially when you have the means to get a ride um, responsibly out of some place like Top Golf. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, attorneys for former wide receiver Henry Ruggs the third are fighting to keep his medical records away from prosecutors charging him with driving under the influence in a fiery car crash that killed a woman earlier this month, already facing felony DUI resulting in death and reckless driving charges. Ruggs, who did not appear in person in court Wednesday, was also hit with an additional felony DUI and reckless driving charges and misdemeanor charge for possession of firearm while intoxicated. The additional charges would mean additional prison time for Ruggs if convicted. We went over that the other day. The evidence supports a second felony DUI charge. Clark County District Attorney Steve Wolfson told reporters, We believe that Mr. Ruggs' girlfriend, um, and I'm going to call it Cara Washington, was substantially injured. And under Nevada law, if one is substantially injured in a DUI collision as a result of the defendant's actions, we can file a second charge. Asked how much time Ruggs could be facing if convicted on all five charges, the bare minimum actually would be two years in prison up to as somewhere in the 50-year range. These are non-probational offenses, no probation. So the felony DUI charges, if Ruggs is convic convicted, he can't get probation on those. He must get a prison sentence. Ruggs, 22, was accused of driving 150 miles an hour with a blood alcohol content twice the legal limit in Nevada. The 23-year-old's uh, funeral, Tina Tenters, is scheduled for this Thursday. Quote, I've been doing this for 40 years, and I can tell each and every one of you that I have had multiple experiences where the facts that were presented at the outset of the case turned out to not be the facts. Ruggs attorney David Chestnut Chestnoff said, so that's why I'm saying, please don't prejudge. Is that a joke? Let us do the work in the courtroom. The state, the prosecutor will do theirs. And when the facts will be determined, I, I, guess, I, I guess he's saying somehow we're supposed to keep an open mind. Okay. Uh, I don't know how you do that on a case like this. I really don't, but okay. Uh, Chesnoff and legal partner Richard uh, Schoenfeld uh, cited state privacy law as they tried to persuade the judge to temporarily block access to Ruggs' medical records, saying the state law supersedes federal health records privacy requirements. Attorney Peter Christensen obtained the same temporary block on behalf of Kilgo Washington, uh, who was the passenger in the car, reported Lee underwent surgery on her arm after the crash. Ruggs posted a $150,000 bail last week. Uh, he is under house arrest with strict conditions. Electronic, monitor, 
electronically cannot drive or consume alcohol, including being tested four times per day for alcohol and had to give up his passport as its criminal case proceeds. The Raiders also released da- Damon Arnett, who was drafted seven spots after Ruggs, after the video surfaced with him and the gun. I didn't even bother making a video on that because I don't know how fast it would have come off YouTube, to be honest with you. Uh, so, that's where we stand. The prosecution is trying to get the records for his girlfriend, who was injured to the point of having surgery, and because of that, they can hit him with an additional felony DUI charge there, okay? Up to 50 years, no probation on a charge like this. I think we all agree he doesn't deserve probation, in our opinion, if convicted of this crime, okay? And I can't imagine how he won't be. Um, there's even surveillance video, which I posted on this channel of him doing, I mean, flying down the road, uh, just about one block prior to the accident actually happening. I hate that it's called an accident. It should be a crash. Uh, right. So tell me what you think, black and white life fans. We're going to keep watching this. We are. I find drunk driving repugnant. And it's worth keeping an eye on. Absolutely. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.